Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and today's video, I'm gonna be doing some planning in my traveler's notebook system. So I moved into my new updated December setup. I don't know about the timing of the videos, but I do have it filmed where I'm just kind of setting all the decorative parts up of this planner. And I wanted to <clears throat> and I wanted to do some um, planning. I was actually gonna do it this morning and I thought, wait, I'll just pause and kind of take you guys along with me. Um, so unlike my weekly plan with me's in my Erin Condren planner, where it's very open the page, you know, I do out of the norm things first. I do my son's Taekwondo schedule, church stuff. I'm just very routine in that planner and that happens usually on the weekend for the upcoming week. One, it's therapeutic to use the stickers, and two, it kind of forces me to look at the week all at one time and be prepared for the upcoming week, if that makes sense. It's just very helpful. That's just how my brain works. This planner is out all of the time. If I am in the living room at home, it's next to me on the table. If I am at work, it is out on my desk, so on, so forth. It goes everywhere with me. So it's not very often that I just sit down and do like one big plan with me. It's more like me writing things in, you know, oh, this pops into my mind, I write it down. Then maybe 10 minutes later, I'm marking something off, that sort of thing, which makes it a little bit harder for me to film this process. But I do need to prep some of my pages. As we are sitting here, Today is Tuesday, the 21st of November. I just printed out <clears throat> new weekly inserts. All of my inserts are from Crefective. <coughs> from Crefective paper. Right now, I do have a code you can use. Gen 15 will save you 15% off your order. So just let me show you, I have been in this week on two pages. I just took these out and switched over to that week on four. I really, really love this insert. It was meeting my needs for sure, but I like mixing things up. It's kind of what keeps my system not so boring to me. I like trying the new inserts. These are printable, so I print and cut them at home. I'll put a card up for how I do that. I know it can be intimidating for some people, but um, I promise you it is not as bad as you may think. So while I loved this, um, I did print out a new week on four. And the thing that I like about this week on four is, one, it has this we got a glance section up here. So I'm putting all my work stuff in here as a quick, you know, at a glance schedule. And then I divided this section into two. Have my content over here. Not sure what I'm going to put here yet. And then it does have a tracker. And then what I really like about it is that the Monday through Friday, so like a typical work week for me, is on these two pages. And then it kind of has the weekend together and it has even more room for listing. So this is the current week. And I need to prep some more for the next week. So I do have a sticker down from Planner Kate with my week number. And then the dates, I have my work schedule down, my content. I do need to write in my um, habit tracker item. So let me do that real quick. Mm -hmm. 
And one of the things that I like to do is use this mild liner um, on my tracker. So instead of making big check marks, I use the bullet side of the mild liners and just put a little dot. And I also use the same method for my trackers on this section. So this is my sleep, how much, how many hours of sleep I got. And then the next column is my energy level for the day. And I think I'm gonna assign a few more tasks since I have the room to spread out in this particular insert. Again, it's one of the things that I found intriguing about this week on four pages. And let me see where we're at. So we got that first page kind of prepped. I really like these journaling kit stickers and I use the same kit in this planner that I do in my in my Erin Condren planner just to keep things consistent. And all of my kits that I would use in this planner are in this album. That way I'm not carrying a bunch of things around. It's literally just this one album fits really nice in my work bag and I have some of my favorite stickers in here with the upcoming kits so Thanksgiving's coming up I have those my date circles all of the new um, 2024 scripts that I've been using in here as well so you get the idea all my favorites and then kits so the kit I'm going to be using in my Erin Condren planner for next week is this December kit, kit 556. And I only have one set of these journaling style dates or days of the week. And I wanna use those on my daily. Actually, since I have these out, let me just flip to my daily pages. This is what I mean, like these are not an organized sit down, go and order plan with me. It's kind of all over the place. So since I have these out, I'm going to go ahead and put down these journaling day of the week stickers for the next week. Make sure I don't skip a page in between. And in addition to those day of the week stickers, I'm gonna use this little add-on that I had for the dates. And the dates on this one are obviously just black and white. So really I could get a whole month worth out of these if I use them on my daily pages as I have been doing. And I am horrible about remembering, so I just wanna check. I think that November only has 30 days, but I don't wanna mess it up. So let me just look. 30 days, which means Friday will be the first. and so forth. All right, since I used those day of the week stickers here, I need to decide what I'm gonna do for my weekly view. And I used the neutral ones last week and an old journaling kit for the current week. I think I'll mix it up just to try something different, which is also one of the things that I love about trying new inserts is trying the different stickers with it. Um, I have these 2024 stickers from Planner Kate. So the cursive option or the printed option, I really like the cursive option 
It's my favorite right now. Of course, that will probably change, but we're gonna go with it. So let's get those down. And for this, it's gonna cover up everything basically that's printed here on the insert. And then this particular sheet does have some of the dates on it, not a set for the whole month. Actually, you get two months, two sets worth. So it looks like Monday will be the 27th. And these are a circle sticker, not that that matters. The one on the add-on are squares. And actually, I should probably mention that this add-on is changing for 2024 kits. Um, it doesn't have any of the days of the week or the dates are more just these bullets. So that might be one of the things that changes for me with my order. However, the new journaling kits, maybe I should just show you. The new 2024 journaling sheets from Planner Kate, um, sheet two has those two options. So this style and this style. So if I picked up the journaling sheets, um, I could do my dailies in one and my weeklies on the other. Let's just get those down. Oops, look what I did after I said. This is why I, I make mistakes frequently. Um, the only really good thing about having inserts that are not dated is that then I don't feel like I have to use them. And if they're sitting on my shelf as I try other things out, they're not going to waste. I don't have to redate them or anything. So um, I really like the undated options for printables for that reason. And let's see here. I have this sticker down. I don't feel like I need to sticker anything else there. And then we can use some of these or these for some of the heading or header options. I'm going to use this grid one here to make a to-do list, even though it says to-do already. I don't use um, like a full sticker kit in here or do a ton of stickering, but I do like the little pops here and there. So let's go ahead and do two of the same. And what I have figured out is that I really like this two section down here to be my content for the week and my cleaning items. And this content is different than the content that goes on that first page. So these are just my YouTube videos. So this is the current week here and then these were like the list of things that I needed to get done kind of in preparation for those, editing the videos, filming different videos, scheduling, that sort of thing. So we'll leave that blank for now as far as content until I decide more of what needs to be done because this is already um, edited and scheduled. So I guess I need to edit and upload week 48. And then for cleaning, this is my weekly reset. I do the same tasks every weekend. And 
And then I need to prep some of this kind of line stuff. I use this journaling card from Cloth and Paper to make all the lines in my planner so they're nice and straight. And I need to get that done for at least Monday through Friday here. So what I've been doing is making a little time section over here, basically starting where this grid ends. And I just make a dashed line and the time will go to the left and the label of the appointment or what the appointment is will go to the right. And then the four lines that are left above that are for my um, must be done on this day section. So just to, for time's sake, I'm not gonna prep the rest of the week, but I wanted to show you that. And then this section doesn't really need any prepping. Again, that's just where I do my sleep and other trackers. And then this section, I've decided I'm going to use the Wacky Holidays from Planner Kate, of course, in here. So it looks like November 28th is French Toast Day. 29th is Square Dance Day. So again, do I have to have this in here? No, but it's it's fun. And um, if it's something that intrigues me, I, I will participate in the day. And it's just something to kind of fill up that space. And I think it looks really cute. So these are the older... STK Wacky Holidays for 2024. She updated those as well. These are available already. So if you want to grab them, you can. And they look like this. So she has a black and white option and a pastel option, a large option and a small option. I'll probably use the smaller option in this spot um, for 2024 as well. And let's look at Monday's schedule and stop there. I don't like to plan too far in advance, but I like to be ready. So Monday morning, I have a benefit meeting. And at nine o'clock, I have a speech meeting. And this is already one of the things that I love Typically, I would have to get out my phone and look at my work schedule, but I already have it all ready to go. And I did that before I left for the work week. And then it looks like at two o'clock, I have a 504 meeting. My son will also have Taekwondo practice, which is changing next week. So let me just look. Monday, his will be at 545. And then I think I also have to work a game. So that is on my traveler's notebook inserts as well. This is my game schedule. So let's look. Monday, the 27th, I have a game. And then let's look at the to-do section. So I have my to-dos from the current week right here. Um, I still need to do some stickers for my friend. And I think that's all here. And then the new items not carried over will be um, church payroll for the month. Deposits for sorority. And I think that's all I'm gonna list for now. Um, it's pretty early in the week. Today's only Tuesday, so I don't need to plan again too far in advance. And the other thing I wanted to do was check my 
notes section. So in my setup video, I talked about this. I have two notes inserts in here. The first one is for temp temporary notes, messy, get it down, not going to reference it forever section. The back one is permanent notes like passwords, all of that that I'm going to need over and over again, no matter what. And what that allows me to do is when my temporary lists are filled up, I can just toss that insert and I don't have to worry about rewriting all the permanent lists and then the permanent lists stay in here forever. So I'm going to off screen go through these because there are some personal um, items on here and just to make sure that I don't have anything pending. And what I usually do is list like things per section. So this first one here were the 2024 Planner Cape Peaks. I had the date and then what I wanted to share. I have one for sorority, one for church, one for my son, um, that sort of thing. So let me just check and see what we have here. Okay, I can show you guys this page and I just need to check some of the things off here. So I have a waiting on. I did get my ink pens in that I ordered. I did get my January Planner Cake Kits in. I had a Jet Pens order, Coco Daisy December kit, and then some ceramic items that I ordered. So everything um, that I've been waiting on looks like it's here. Here's another one I can show you. I have a plan for the planners. Yes, that's a thing. So my 2024 planner plan, what I need in my standard TN. I have my monthly, weekly, daily. Still kind of playing around with my hobo cousin. Inserts I want to get from Perfective Paper. And then this is church items so i did pay for the shoebox shipping i'm gonna add print ballots and purchase new curriculum to my next week to-do list And that will take care of referencing my notes section. Um, so I'm set there. And then let's look at the daily pages. And again, I have everything prepped for next week. Really just getting the dates down on my daily ahead of time is the big, um, you know, setup item. And then this is out open to this page on my desk all day. So this happened, this happened, this and this. And then this evening, I'm just gonna put PM. Uh, my in-laws are coming over for a game of bump and dinner. And I still at some point need to place my Walmart order. I've did this, I've done this, and I did film my plum paper daily video. So that's kind of a look at how I sit down and prep my travelers and notebook pages. Again, just getting the dates down since I do prefer that undated option. Um, and then some fun little items. I don't work too far ahead, but I wanted to show you the process so you can see this is Monday, this is today. I have a couple things already down for Thursday and Friday. And then I just really love that Monday through Friday are on a page together and then my weekends kind of separate. It's nice to see your weekend together. Sometimes those plans look a little bit different than your workday plans if you're anything like me. And then maybe if I don't have a lot of time specific appointments, I can fill up with some more decorative stickers, um, full boxes or like these torn washi pieces. But I'll do that after the day has occurred. 
That way I don't have to like pull up stickers if something comes up. So um, that's it guys. I just wanted to sit down and update my planner and I think I'm done for a little bit, probably in an hour or so. I'll be back in here adding things that come to my mind. So um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you back next time.